Hello Geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to the mobile app development using Flutter video series and the topic of today's video is creating application layout. So what is an application layout? In the last video we managed to print something like hello Flutter on the screen. But a mobile app it generally consists of a layout which consists of an application bar and some multiple widgets here and there. And there is some title over here there are some actions over here and so on so in this video we will learn how to create those okay so to create an application layout let's get rid of this now the question is what is the best way to create an application layout I'll recommend using material app so we'll say return new material app Material app is uh, very uh, easy to understand and use. It not only helps us in creating material design application, but also helps in creating material specific route. Uh, routes helps us in creating multiplayer applications. So let's let's start with the basic material app and see how it looks like. So the contents of material app is title. I can give any title, say my application. Uh, and it has a home page so home i can say just uh, new text hello flutter let me just uh, reload this and see what's the output of it as you can see that we can see hello flutter being printed and we can bring it down like with we did in last video here or we can again do the same thing like we did in last video that we can create another widget called center and in center child we'll put the text and then if we will hot reload it it will come in the middle and you'll see the difference between earlier hello flutter and this because it is coming up with some kind of material design inbuilt okay so it is still not having the app bar or body to create that we'll have to create something called a scaffold in the home so you can uh, create new scaffold scaffold has two main parameters one is app bar another is body as you might have guessed from the name that app bar is something which creates the application bar let me create an app bar with title as uh, some text widget saying that uh, my app and body i'll just put some text let's say hello flutter i go ahead and hot reload it and you can see the look and feel of my app has changed significantly so i have created an application bar which is there app bar and i have created a body now the body the there is one obvious problem that if you want to write more than one text we cannot write more than one body it will create a error so the way to do it is uh, is to use the widget which can uh, take multiple widgets inside one of that is column so column instead of child it takes children and which takes an array widget and i can say new text uh, hello flutter one and I can have another text called hello flutter 2 if I save we can see two things are being uh, printed over here and like column there is something called row which will do the same thing but let's stuck with a column for now so there is no limitation of number of widgets inside this we can have as many as we want it just takes the array now many a time we do not want the static text so what we need to do is to get into some mechanism where we can pass the text while constructing it like when I create a new app bar I am calling the constructor with a parameter called title when I am creating a new scaffold I am calling the constructor with a parameter called app bar and body similar thing can be done for my own widget so for my app let me create a my app constructor which takes two parameter this dot first line and this dot second line uh, this has to be defined as final inside the inside my class so I'll this define final type widget 
first line and second line okay and just like we used below we can pass the first line and second line inside the my app instantiation so in the first line i'll say first line and in the second line i'll again say new text second line Okay, but how to uh, print those inside this? These are widgets, and then I don't need to create a new widget. I can just say this dot first line, and the second will be this dot second line. Let me go ahead and do hot reload. Okay, now one other thing has to be understood that when you, since hot reload is a feature which preserves the state, many a times things will not work like this. If you change too much inside the widget in dot those cases you will have to uh, re reload the widget let's reload and see how it happens so once i reload i can see it printing whatever i have passed so the error which you have seen earlier it's misleading many a times if you get into some error first try to restart the app though it's a very good functionality but if it doesn't work just don't de start debugging the code I try start reloading it once so that's all about creating the very basic layout with app bar and body and which can display multiple items we have also seen how we can pass the parameters inside our own uh, custom widgets that's all for this video if you have any questions you can write in the comment sections see you in next video thanks thanks for watching